This is an interesting problem. We are going to convert an isometric view to multiple views. And this model involves not only the normal surface, but uh, the oblique surface. We first need to determine the name of the views. Here's the front. Here's the left side. And here's the top. We will start the front first. We're going to take a look at the surfaces parallel to the front side of the glass box. They are A, D, and E. Of course, we're going to draw surface A first. Once we finish A, we're going to move on to surface D. This is a D. To draw surface E, we actually need to rely on the numbers uh, on oblique surface B. Let's take a look at the numbers. Number 1 is the corner of a surface D. Number 2 is the corner of surface A. Number three is the other corner of surface A. Number four, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks from the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the four. Number eight is two blocks from the left side. Number seven is three blocks from the left side. It's time to determine five and a six. Number six, in order to determine the location of number six, we need to first push in by one block. To make sure the one and the six, they are on the same surface, and then project it to the left side to see how far it is from the top surface, which is a two. And then you can see when you project the six to the same level as uh, number seven, uh, you can vertically, you can see 6 is uh, about one block from number 7. So it is time to determine 6. And number 5. Similarly, we can project the 5 to downward to the same level as number 4. And you can see 5 is uh, about one block from number 4. And it is at the same level as number 6. So here's the 5. We can connect the numbers in sequence order to complete the oblique surface now. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7. Seven to eight, eight back to one. This is oblique surface B. And then you can see surface E is actually a surface partially blocked by oblique surface and surface A. So from number six and number five, when you project it to the right, you need to use a hidden line to represent it. So far, we have a complete all the surfaces in the front view. Let's move on to the top. To the top, we have surface C and the surface H. Now I need to change it to surface K. Surface K and the surface F parallel to the top of the glass box. So we're going to draw surface C first. This is a C. Surface K is next to surface C. This 
This is a K. Surface F is right in front, two blocks deep, and connected to number four, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks from the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's a four. Number three is right here. And also, as you can see, three and three, they need to be aligned vertically in the top and the front. Four and four, they need to be aligned vertically top and the front. Six, now it is time to determine the location of number six in the top. We can use the six in the front to help. Project to the top. And because six is also three blocks from the back face, so we'll be able to mark number six in the top. Here's a six. Number seven projected to the top. Six to seven. I actually still aligned horizontally. So here's a six, six, six and a seven. And now we can go to see number eight. Eight projected to the top. And we know eight is the two blocks from the back face. So here's the eight. And uh, we have a number one right here. One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. Five is uh, right here, projected from the front. Five to six, six to seven. Don't forget your hidden line. So project from the number six to the right. You need to mark your hidden lines. And a projector from the number four to the right, you need to continue your second hidden line. This is a complete top view. Move to the left. We have a surface H, surface I, parallel to the left of the glass box. Do the surface I first. This is an I, and then we're going to draw surface H. Here's an H. Next, we're going to take a look at the numbers. Number one in the front and left side, they must be aligned horizontally. And then we also know number one is two blocks from the back face. So number one is right here. Number two is on the top surface as well. Number two is right in, in the front face. So here's number two. Number three is actually at this level. And the number three is right on the front face. This is number three. It is a corner of a surface H. Number four, same elevation. And the number four is two blocks uh, from the front face. So here is four. Number five. Number five is right here at this elevation. And number five is two blocks pushing in from the front face. So here's the five. Number six, same elevation. And number six is the three blocks from the back face. So here's the six. Number seven. Number seven is uh, two blocks from the bottom, and number seven is also three blocks from the back face. So here's a seven. Number eight. Number eight is at the same elevation and two blocks from the back face. Here's the eight. Connect the numbers in order, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, Eight back to one. This is our in oblique surface B. What about the other surfaces? Well, the other surfaces when you project them to the life side view, they are either surface horizontal surface edges or vertical surface edges. So this is actually complete life side view. Okay. Whenever you work on the oblique surface problem, keep in mind 
because it is not parallel or perpendicular to any side of the glass box, you must make sure that you will be able to use the number to label the each corner of the oblique surface. Use the number to help you to track the location of the oblique surface. And also the parallel rules. If you have the edges of the oblique surface parallel to each other in one view, let's say in the isometric view, you're going to continue to see them parallel to each other in the other views, let's say in the top, front, and the left side. So in our case, line 1, 2, parallel to 5, 6, parallel to 3, 4, parallel to 7, 8. So you will continue to see these lines parallel to each other in the multiple view. Line 1, 8, parallel to 6, 7, parallel to 4, 5, parallel to 2, 3. You will continue to see them parallel to each other in the views you completed. Use the parallel rules to help you verify your answer.